article in shock speaks on forging his work certificate after Tinibu reviewed and accused him of this information. Hello guys, welcome back once again to this YouTube channel. You know, Atiku Abaka and uh, Peter Obi should prepare for what will come for them. Because since Tinibu has been caught that he forged his Chicago State University diploma, which he submitted to INEC, they are, they are now out for witch hunting. They want to bring down Peter Obi and Atiku Abaka down. Because, you know, APC supporters have seen that their own master, being Bola Metinibu, have disgraced them internationally. So what they want to do is to drag both P2B and uh, Atuka Baka to their mouth. But they cannot do that. I can boldly tell you this for free. You know, the international communities have seen Tinibu as a certificate forger. Everybody has known him as a certificate forger. That he is the only Nigerian president that has forged certificate. And the institution which he attended has, has testified under oath that they never issued a certificate which he submitted to the independent national electoral body, being INEC, in this country. You know, a lot of controversy started coming up since yesterday that Atiku Abaka forged his YX certificate because of some certain things. So because uh, there was different names and a lot of uh, you know uh, discrepancies so, uh, seen in, in his uh, uh, academic uh, YX certificate. And APC uh, uh, bygones and AP, AP supporters started you know feeding on that and feasting on it, saying that Atiku Abaka forged his uh, YX certificate and all that. Started making a whole lot of noise and all that. But Atuka Baka, you know, was in shock because he has never forged any document. So he had to speak out and tell people what happened and why the discrepancies happened. And this is what a, a people should do. Had it been Tinibu came out and told us, look at what happened. Had it been he came out and, and confessed that he forged his uh, Chicago certificate. A lot of people could have said, okay, fine, honorable resign since you've confessed. But look at what Atuka Baka told them after they started ac accusing him that he forged his YX certificate. You know, through his, uh, one of his uh, 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 aides being a daily momodu. You know, Dele Momo wrote something, said, as you can see on the screen, that the APC busybodies have been bombarding me with allegations of forgery against my principal, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, which I immediately forwarded to him. And here is his copious response. Yes, this is what Atiku Abubakar have to say because of the uh, uh, allegation that he forged his YX certificate. Atiku Abubakar said, yes, I used Sadiq Abubakar to sit for my YX, and after passing my exams, I went to swear an affidavit to say I am the same person as Atiku Abubakar. I went to Abu as Abu Zaria as Atiku Abubakar and passed my exams as Atiku Abubakar, interviewed as Atiku Abubakar by the Federal Civil Service Commission and hired into the Customs Service as Atiku Abubakar. So where is forgery there? Atiku Abubakar responds. This daily momo did not say, can the APC social media bullies forward the, the, the deluge of questions in circulation to their boss and get instant answer? You know, they said that one of the aides of the former vice president, being Dele Momodi, gave the clarification on Twitter. You know, Momodi stated that the clarification was necessary following an allegation of forgery against Atiku Abaka by members of the All Progressive Congress, being APC. He noted that some members of the ruling party had questioned the name Sadiq Abubakar in Atiku's YX certificate as against his other credentials. Momodi said he forwarded the accusation to the former vice president, who also provided an answer for the discrepancy. So you could see. You, you could see the answer and the response that uh, Atiku Abubakar gave, that, he, that his former name was Sadiq Abubakar, and that was what he used to sit for his wife's certificate. That after he sat for his wife's certificate, he went to the court and took an affidavit and swore an affidavit and changed his name from Sadiq Abubakar to Atiku Abubakar. And the affidavit is there and everything is there to tell you that there is nothing that he wants to hide. You know, they even come for Peter B to accuse Peter B that he, that he actually, you know, forged the document and everything. And Peter B told them that anybody that wants to see his credentials should go to UNN and uh, order for his transcript, that they will freely give him his transcript and uh, any academic qualification record that they want from him you know apc they don't know what to do they want to not drag every person to the mall because they've seen that their friendship are being bola metinibu has totally embarrassed and disgraced them and brought them shame this is an international shame they know that there is nothing that will save him from being disqualified because according to the constitution of Nigeria, section 137 ij stated emphatically that whoever has submitted a forged document to INEC wants to be disqualified is not even qualified to contest or vie for any political position in this country so you, you know that Tinibu has become an international disgrace and an international embar embarrassment in the sense that people no longer regard him, people no longer respect him because how can the number one citizen of this country go and forge a document that he submitted to INEC? There are a whole lot of cases and a whole lot of doubts about who this man is and about his academic uh, qualifications and cre credentials because for him to go and forge a document, if he truly graduated from Chicago State University, a lot of people are saying, if you, if you are truly a graduate of this university, what hindered you or what hindered you from, from easily entering the, the, the university and ordering them to give you a replacement other than going to a cyber cafe, a, a computer center to go and forge a document, an official document that an institution gave to you? 
to tell you that a lot of investigations needs to be done. Like I told you, a criminal investigation are, are commenced in the United States and in the Chicago State University to know why Tinibu had to go and forge, even to, the, to forge the signature, the signature of Enaradane, who is the president of CSU, just to put it on his forged document, which is submitted to INEC. These are investigations that need to be carried out. Even CSU said categorically that they don't have pictures and anything about the Bolatini, but that what they just have is just the transcript to tell you that there is every clear case of identity theft here. For CSU, the Chicago State University to say that they don't have pictorial views or graphic view of uh, or, or pictures or any, anything about this man being Bolatini, in the book. it goes a long way to tell you that there's every likelihood that the Bolatini book that attended that school and the Bolatini book have here are not the same. Even I told you guys in my previous video uh, that the Bolatini book that attended that school did not graduate in the sense that the person had about uh, five, uh, about 15 credit uh, uh, load uh, of uh, cost load hour that he needs to complete. The person didn't complete because before you graduate from the United States, you, you must uh, you must complete 120 hours credit uh, credit hours of courses and all that. And Tinibu only did uh, the Tinibu that actually went to that school did only 105, meaning he he, he has one 15 more hour credit hour courses to do. And there is a course English 222 that Tinibu did not pass and which is mandatory and compulsory before somebody will graduate. Tinibu did not pass the course. There was no record that Tinibu wrote that course and actually graduated from that institution. So this is what a lot of people have actually discovered and, and you know uh, reviewed. That is why AP supporters are finding a way to put both Article Abraka and Pitop into that same mode that Tinibu has actually fallen into. It is not going to work because Article Abraka has actually pre presented his academic records and details and everything. And none of them are questionable. You can go and verify. The same thing goes with other presidential candidates. The same thing goes with Pitobi. You know, like I've said, APC supporters are desperate. Instead of them to be, you know, pressurizing and telling their own principal being Balamet and able to resign. Because the way the other nations are going to see us as a nation will be that we are a nation of forgers. If our so-called number one citizen is forging a document, it means that other nations will be seeing us as, as, as potential authentic forgers of documents and everything. And this goes a long way to tell you that it is not good for this nation. It's not good for the, for, for the reputation and the dignity and the reputation of this nation. Can boldly tell for this uh, for free. I think Abaka said he swore an affidavit and he provided evidence. Very simple. This is what Nebu could have done, but he went on to hire lawyers and paid lawyers and kept on opposing the release of some of his uh, documents, which is quite pathetic and shameful. Well, like I said, I'll keep on updating you guys and I'll let you guys drop your comments and tell me what you think about this reaction that I think Abaka gave.